close your eyes, a big surprise is coming. I am up to something. I'll visualize and organize a prank that you cannot imagine. My name is Andy. Everybody knows me. My name is Andy. Everybody knows me. Do you believe it? I'm running a race, and I'm way out in front. If you can keep up with me, I'll explain why. Jen, I don't believe it. Your dorky brother with the little girly arms is actually going to show up for the school's track and field day. Looks like you're gonna pull a muscle just by carrying that bag, Andy. You're way out of shape. Don't you believe it? I've been working out mentally. I've been doing push-ups in my brain. Ah! Yeah, and you're a 10-pound weakling in that department, too. <laughs> <laughs> if I wasn't a whole lot shorter and half the weight of hamburger breath, you'd still cross the street if you saw him coming. You're a true friend. I'd like you to know that, Danny. Besides, he has a point. Why are you showing up for track and field? Please! Only a stupid jock like Craig would see any fun in that. So, what's in the bag? Something for the real sport of the day, getting out of track and field day. There he is. Ah, what a perfect day for track and field. Ah, uh, Principal DeRosa, could you sign this get well card for Andy? Larkin? What's the matter with him now? Oh, he's gravely ill. Something about not being able to use his legs. <laughs> hey. Hey. There's nothing worse than a student out sick. Hello, Principal DeRosa. Don't worry. I'm gonna win the track and field award again this year. No doubt about it. Miss Larkin, please send my get well wishes to your brother. Andy might be sick in the head, but other than that, he's just fine. Sick in the head? <laughs> Go! That's earned you and Larkin a week in detention. If I don't see both of you on the track in 20 minutes, we'll be using you two as hurdles. <laughs> well, that wasn't very nice. Okay, he's coming. You ready? Hang on. Bring him in. Principal DeRosa, come quick, it's Andy. What now? He ate a cafeteria muffin, then doubled over in pain. Come out, Larkin! You know what they say, once bitten, twice shy. <laughs> <coughs> this all-time top ten puke sounds tape was the best five bucks I ever spent. Easy now, Larkin. Uh, I'm gonna go get the nurse. Hey, you wait right there. Can't stay. Must go and do... Uh, sports. Uh, oh. Forget it. You're excused. Uh, just <laughs> wait here for... <laughs> oh. If you aren't on the field in ten minutes, we'll use you as the target of the javelin throw! <laughs> And you can both tack on an extra week of detention for this little stunt. Well, that's that. Not so fast. Maybe the coach will be more sympathetic. About time you two got here. You'll both be in Group B along with Craig Bennett, Jervis, Lick and Leach. What in tarnation? I was tying my running shoes on the bleachers when I was hit with a medicine ball. I tumbled down all 14 of the bleacher steps. Don't worry about it, Larkin. We're gonna miss you today, but you're obviously in no condition to participate in the events. A thousand curses! What did I tell you? He's the champ! What are you up to now, Larkin? <laughs> Oh, that's gross. 
Actually, it's ketchup. That's three weeks' detention! Coach, I think what Andy needs is some loosening up exercises. I know exactly what you have in mind. <laughs> Come on, Larkin! My grandma can do a better push-up than that in her hospital bed! Uh, do I still have to do the hundred sit-ups? Ah, uh, forget it. I think a sit-up would finish you off. Besides, we have to start the events. Hi, Andy. Oh, Lori, hi. <laughs> What's going on? I've been assigned to write a report for the school newspaper. You know, on the track and field events, an interview with the winner. Cool. You know, maybe after school we could hang out or something. Go out with me. Yes! 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 When the planets align, you better take advantage of it. Hey, Larkin, this is the way you do a push-up. <laughs> Did you hear? Coach put us in the same group. If you watch me close, you might learn a few things. Larkin, let me help you. Hey! <laughs> Give me them back. If that's what you want, Larkin. <laughs> I don't even know what you're doing here, Larkin. My little sister is stronger than you are. You look miffed, oh great prankmeister. Miffed only scratches the surface. Craig is going to be sorry he ever met me after my participation in track and field. I thought the idea was not to participate in track and field. There's been a slight change of plans. Craig Bennett, the world's biggest jerk, is about to compete against Andy Larkin, the world's greatest prankster. Okay, Group B. First event is the hammer throw. Leech, you're up. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Me next, me next. Oh, what can I hit? No, boys, that's not the goal. Time for the lesson in humility to begin. Andy? Ugh. Oh, don't sneak up on a guy like that. Sorry. Hey, what do you want? Me, Tamerlane, and Shadow over there are big fans of your work. My work? My car! Your pranks are legendary. We were wondering if we could maybe hang out with you, take a few pictures, you know, learn from a pro. Craig, you're up. Sorry, little dudes. Can't do it today. You'd just get in the way. But you can watch from a distance, though. It's a free country. You got it, Frank Master. i just like to say, you're my personal hero. <laughs> what a nice kid. Reminds me of myself when I was his age. I should get a redo. Brilliant. Hey, you know, maybe there is something you can help me with. Coach, the sixth graders are playing maternity ward with the medicine balls again. Oh, those little delinquents! I got a Berman and his little buddies. They got all the glue we needed in no time flat. Come on, Craig is running in track four. Timing. Let's go. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
That's my lane, dork. You're a speed machine. You can fly. You're the wind. Mm. You're number one, Craig! This will give Lori something interesting to write about. On your marks, get set! Andy, he isn't even coming close to touching the hurdle. It isn't gonna work. Oh, Craig! Smile for the camera! Oh, my God! <laughs> Face plant! Jervis is first, Danny second, Andy third. Craig fourth, Lick and Leech tie for dead last. Fourth? What do you mean? This is my best event. Not anymore. Hey, what's this? Uh, isn't that the glue the kindergarten class uses? Those little brats! Wait till I get my hands on them! That's the lamest thing I've ever seen. There are toads that can jump higher. Whatever. It's still my personal best. Check this out. Ta-da! Jervis, you're up. Okay, coach. Raise the bar five feet. <sighs> Super smooth cherry lip gloss. Perfect. I need a diversion. Woohoo! Ah! No way! That's no good! He went over it without even touching it! What? No, 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 no! It wasn't a good jump because he didn't even stay up there! He went. And bam! Landed on that big cushiony thing! Shut your gob, you little twit. You're breaking my concentration. Good jump, Jerv. I reckon hanging out with Larkin has warped his brain. Raise it another two feet. Oh. Craig will, if he makes this jump, not only be back out in front, but will set a new school record. Qualified? Huh? Somebody greased my pole! <laughs> it's cherry lip gloss! Who put their cherry lip gloss on my pole? I want a redo! Move along, Bennett. There are no redos. Huh? If I find out that you've got anything to do with this... Don't look at me. Cherry's not my flavor. Oh, hey, Lori. Too bad about Craig, huh? Well, he still has a chance to win if he gets a good time in the cross-country race. As if. So, as I was saying earlier, maybe after school... I am hmm? the best. Huh? I am the best. I am the best. Go, Jervis! Congratulations, Jervis. You're in the lead right now. They should call the fire department because I am on fire. I was thinking we could do the winner's interview someplace nice, like a restaurant. Unbelievable! While I've been focusing on Craig, that sneaky Jervis is vaulting himself into Lori's heart. I pranked myself from the frying pan into the fire. This year, instead of running around the track 60 times, we have permission to run through town. Just follow the arrows. It's all set. On your marks? Get set? Ha! Huh, you ain't gonna last a block, Alice. 
It's amazing they ever make it to school. No, this is more like it. I'll show everybody that the Craigster still has it. <laughs> You're the wind. Meep, meep. <sighs> told me never to come to this part of town. Do you see him? Not yet. <laughs> Nothing is stopping these guys. This race isn't lost yet. Gotta call Mush. <laughs> Concentrated prune juice. <laughs> if he shows up in the next two minutes, he'll beat the record. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Oh, hey, brat. I mean, kids. How about getting me down? There's some ice cream in it for you. No amount of ice cream can erase the memory of that terrible and unwarranted beating you laid on us. Be prepared to get your comeuppance. Yes, yes, keep going, tiger. You can do it. I won. I won. I'm the champ. Oh, come on. You're not going to use those wet towels on your Uncle Craig now, are you? No. Oh, please, show a little mercy. Oh, ow! Huh? <laughs> hey, where are they going? I don't know. Probably to the finish line. It is a race, after all. Remember, I crossed the line first. The date with Lori is mine. Chip, please. If I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. Hey, I won. I did it. Quit it. No, you quit it. Congratulations, Danny. You have accumulated the most points overall. You should be very proud of yourself, young man. Bennett, what can I say? I guess your nine-year winning streak had to end at some point. Sheesh, you really let yourself go. But, Coach, I was sabotaged. It was the kindergarten kids. They hung me from a tree, and, and, oh, it was horrible what they did to me. Look, Bennett, you just can't blame somebody else whenever you lose a race. Grow up! Hey, Laurie. I've been trying to ask you all day. How about us uh, getting together after school? I don't think I'm going to have time, Andy. I have to interview the track and field winner. <laughs> Congratulations, Danny. I need an interview for the paper. Can we go somewhere quiet? A, a, a restaurant, maybe? <laughs> I didn't know you were so... Uh, athletic. <laughs> well, between you and moi, I do try to keep myself in shape. Feel that, hard as a rock. Ooh. <sighs> so much for my best friend. He's turning out to be a big athletic supporter. Hey, Andy, I got some great pictures of you in action. Wanna see? Hey, this isn't you doing sports. Uh, yeah, it's you, you know, pranking. Shh. First rule of pranking is never to keep evidence. 
See, it was like this. So, there you go. That's the reason I'm running a race and I'm way out in front. When I get my hands on you, Larkin, you'll never walk again, let alone run. Do you know how long it takes to digest running shoes? Plus, it's really amazing what a little fear and adrenaline can do. Yeah, I'd love to chat some more, but I've got to run. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>